In the next 60 seconds, let's decode a powerful tool designed for IT professionals stepping into the realm of network security, Fort Analyzer. Imagine collecting all the security data from your network's devices in one place. That's what Forti Analyzer does. It gathers logs, events and more, making it a breeze to manage. Forti Analyzer offers detailed reports and real-time alerts, helping you identify threats swiftly and accurately. Think of it as having a vigilant watchdog that never sleeps. It aggregates and analyzes data from across your digital landscape, pinpointing emerging threats and providing comprehensive reports to guide your response. In this video we are going to deploy one on VMware Workstation and Guide will be valid for real world as well as lab which we are building. Let's start within the browser and reaching support.fortinet.com by simply typing it into search bar. If you are here first time, proceed with the account creation and registration. Once it is ready, log in with your credentials. If you have purchased license, I would suggest to start with registration. As you can see, I've already registered mine. Right after that, navigate to support dropdown menu and click on VM images. On left panel, select 40 analyzer and platform is going to be VMware ASXi. In my case, I have decided to go for a 7 to 5 release and we are going to download new deployment of Forti Analyzer for VMware. When file is downloaded, proceed with the extraction into folder. Now I am going to import extracted virtual machine files directly in VMware Workstation. Simply navigate to folder where you have extracted files. Select Forti Analyzer VM64.ovf and press open. In following window pick up your name and select destination path for virtual machine. Then click on import. As you can see, Forti Analyzer requires a lot of resources. If you are deploying it in real world, I suggest keep the RAM settings as it is. In my case, I am going to use it in lab environment, so 8 gigs should be sufficient. In next step, we are going to set up connectivity via virtual interfaces, so click on the virtual network editor. For our lab, I will be adding another virtual host only network interface, VMNet 5. In this case, make sure DHCP service is disabled. And we need to also adjust subnet to match our addressing scheme in lab. Click apply. And now we are going to link network adapters with our virtual machine. First network adapter is going to be represented in Forti Analyzer as port 1 and I am going to make it accessible via VMNet 5. Adapter number 4 is going to be bridged to physical network. I am showing this as an example if you are deploying Forti Analyzer in real world. This can also serve as alternative way to establish connectivity to our VM. And now we can safely proceed to start this machine on. First time booting process is going to take a little longer. I'm going to speed it up.
First time login, use admin account and press enter as password is not set. You will be asked to create password right after that. Type in password of your choice and after we can jump into the configuration. First I'm going to focus on configure interfaces. Type in command config system interface. When you type edit, space and question mark, the system will show you brief description of the interfaces. Continue with typing in edit port 1. And here we are going to set IP address from the addressing space of our lab environment. Following with 24-bit subnet mask. Next we are going to allow administrative access, which will also enable configuration in GUI via browser. Other than that, I will also allow everything which may be needed in the future. For now this is all we need on port 1, so type in next then end. In next step I am going to quickly check status of the static route. And I can see it is empty and Forti Analyzer will need to be instructed how to get out. For that I am going to configure a new static route. And command is going to be set DST all zeros. Which means everything. And for everything use port 1. and you will go through this gateway. The IP address which I have typed is FortiGate's internal IP address which I will show you in few seconds. This is all we need here, exit this configuration mode with the next and then end. If you are deploying this virtual machine in real world, this is quick guide how to most likely discover a gateway IP of your physical router. Like you saw on the picture, press Windows key plus R, then type cnd then ipconfig. Because in my PC I have many network and virtual adapters I have concealed this up so it is not confusing. And IP of your gateway probably appear as I have marked with the yellow square, just keep in mind numbers will be most likely different. Here I am going to show example configuration for the real world. We have linked adapter 4 with the bridge interface to physical network. So your configuration on port 4 will look like similar to this. The IP address assignment should be in same addressing space as your physical network and the gateway as well during static road configuration. In next step we are going to download license file, so let's go back to our initial Forti Cloud window, then click on the Forti Analyzer icon. License file can be downloaded simply by clicking this link, but before you do that, make sure the IP address which you have set during the registration does match with the IP address set on the interface, otherwise activation is going to fail. If your IP address do not match, don't worry, you can change it by clicking on this pen icon. Now let's access Forti Analyzer GUI by the IP address which we set on interface, in my case it was 172.16.10.99. Because this is self-signed certificate you are going to get warning, but that's completely ok, just proceed forward. Here we are reaching point where you can go for a free trial as well for lab purposes, this is also viable option. Because I do have license file, my next step is going to be uploading license. In the contract big boy, come on sign the contract. Just navigate to folder where it is downloaded and click upload. Oh, no looker, first ever, oh, nailed it. Virtual machine is now being rebooted so activation can be applied. It is going to take some time but you can track progress by switching to console window in VMware workstation. Once it is done simply refresh the page. At this point you should be able to log in with your admin account and password of your choice. In this page it is important to point out if connectivity to internet is set incorrectly you are not going to pass this window. 
it is kind of annoying but not possible to skip. Alternative B is to get entitlement file which you can get via customer support. Now let's jump to our lab and just like in real world we have to plug this machine into network in order to establish connectivity. I'm going to do that with placing cloud and selecting my PC as a server. Early in the video we have linked VMnet 5 to port 1, so this is what you need to add within the cloud configuration. Click on show special Ethernet interfaces and then add it. For aesthetic reasons I am going to change icon as well. This looks like a good fit, so let's select it. Before connection I am also going to change a name. And because in our topology we are using 172.16.10.1, we need to make changes to virtual adapter which have by default same IP address assigned. You can quickly do so by pressing Windows key plus R. Type in ncpa.cpl, which will lead you straight directly to the network connections. And in VMnet 5 we are going to change IP address to something else than dot one. I have picked 254 because it is last IP in addressing space. After that I would recommend to restart computer because GNS3 does not play well with these changes. Once computer is restarted and virtual machine booted, we can finally make virtual cable connection. I will also change connection name to something more appealing. Some small configuration changes are going to be needed on Cisco switch, so let's do that now. Type in conf t, then interface gigabit ethernet to slash 2. With following two commands I am going to tell the port you belong to VLAN 10 and this port serves as access. With that our job is done here, so let's save config and test connectivity. With command show IP interface brief, I am going to confirm that this switch have interface VLAN 10 IP configured. And our ping to 40 analyzer VM was successful, which means we should be able to go through setup window without issues. With that I am going to say goodbye and I am looking forward to see you in next video. Oh, no looker! First ever! Oh! Nailed it!